Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going to review the Toolcat 5600 and um, I'll give you my thoughts about it. Okay, inside the Bobcat you have, you have a lever over here and if it's up nothing will work. So you put the lever down, put it in neutral, and then to start it you have a, you enter your code, you can change the code, you can get rid of the code but first first up you have to push this button the the glow plugs will heat up and then you push the green button start it up this right here is a control for the up and down for your bucket this right here is for auxiliary hydraulics if you let's say you have the snow plow on and you um, you want to turn the blade left or right, that's what that'll do. Right here, this will tell you your hours. It, it'll give you codes for when to change oil. I leave it right there on hours. You have cruise control, you have lights. These are your um, auxiliary hydro. You can lock the bucket. Um, this is forward and reverse right here. This button right here, you can change it from a turtle mode, from the turtle to a rabbit. Top speed is 17 miles an hour. Right here is your throttle. Right here is your lever for um, raising your raising your uh, dump bed up and down. Right here is a, this is the switch to switch from two-wheel steer to four-wheel steer, and I'll demonstrate that. There's your high flow for your hydraulics, windshield wipers. Uh, here's your air conditioner. It has air conditioning and heat, which is really nice. Here's your blinkers, left blinker, right blinker, and it has a horn. Right here is uh, also the turn signals uh, indicator. It tells you which one's on. It, it'll flash right there. Here's your light switch. This is the control to lock. If you look outside, you see the hydraulics out there. It's automatic disconnect, which is really nice. What else? When you have it in forward, Here's your gas pedal right here. And then here's your throttle. It takes a little getting used to, but it's pretty easy. And then of course your brake. Uh, I think that's it for inside. Oh yeah, I do have a stereo, speakers, overhead light. And yeah, that's it for inside. Let's go outside and take a look. Of course you got your mirror outside, got your headlights, off-road lights up here. Right here is your hyd auxiliary hydro hydraulic hookup with the electric plug. Um, yeah, we'll do a little walk around. I did break this window recently. I opened the door and hit one of my rocks and uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Here's my headache rack that I built, installed a a quick release chainsaw mount. Um, fire extinguisher, of course, because I live in the forest. Here's your engine compartment. Oil filter, oil dipstick, pump. If you, if you run out of gas, you can bleed it. That tire looks a little low. What else? Yeah, let me demonstrate it for you. Right here you can see, um, I'm actually using my drone right now in active track. And it's actually, the it's going around these trees, which is pretty nice. It has sensors on it and it'll jump and move out of the way so it doesn't hit these trees. And right here I'm going down to my shop job. Now I use this tool cat every single day. Um, it's like a pickup truck on a job site. I carry all my tools and stuff in it. 
it's been a really good machine and I highly recommend it. It's, it's diesel, it's um, all wheel drive, and, you can, and it's also a four wheel steer, which I'll do a demonstration of that when I get down here. Watch how the camera jumps around this tree. Right here, it senses the tree, looks for me, and then it goes around it. That's pretty cool. That's a DJI Maverick Air 2S. Right here, I'm going to hook up my bucket and then give you a little demonstration of how this thing works. The nice thing about the attachments, it has a hydraulic disconnect and you basically don't even have to get out of the cab to hook up, a, hook up attachments and, uh, or change them. Right here I have the bucket on. Here's a look around the tool cat. I love this machine. It's not a great machine for off-roading because the suspension's too stiff, but it's a great machine for work. Now here I'm going to demonstrate the dump bed. I believe it'll lift 2,000 pounds. And there you can see the hydraulics underneath that you can access if you need to. Here's a front bucket. I'll demonstrate how high it'll go. It's the perfect height for my uh, dump trailer. Now here I'm going to demonstrate the all-wheel drive. And in, when you have it in all-wheel drive, you can really turn tight. Watch how tight it turns right here. I don't usually drive it in all-wheel in all drive that much because it turns so tight that you, if, you, if you were to dip into a, a hole with one of the tires, it would roll right over. So you got to be pretty careful. But this is a demonstration of, watch how tight it turns right here. And that comes in handy sometimes when you get at a tight spot. Here's another look at it. Here's one of, here's my snowplow attachment. And the deer seem to be cruising around right now. I leave water out for them. They're not really scared of me either. Here's a um, demonstration of the snow plow. Here's a demonstration of my bucket. I'm constantly trying to clean up my property for fire mitigation, so I'm uh, I'm constantly uh, loading this dump trailer up. Here's a demonstration of it dumping in the dump trailer. Another view of it. And here's my forks. There's the forks that I have, and I use those a lot, especially for unloading material, unloading rebar. And here's a demonstration of it'll lift a full bucket of gravel. Another view of it with the drone. Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. What, what are my thoughts? The Bobcat Toolcat is probably one of the most versatile pieces of equipment that I have. Not only can I pick up dirt and spread gravel, but I can use the forks to unload trucks, and I can use the snow plow in the winter to plow. It, the suspension is really stiff, so I, I wouldn't use this to go off-road. I have taken it into the forest and it, it's been a pretty rough ride, but around a ranch or a farm or around my little homestead, it's probably one of the most used pieces of equipment. Anyway, I have to give it a thumbs up. Uh, I bought mine used um, and I have had no trouble with it so far. And I've had it probably, I've probably had it a year. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video about the Bobcat Toolcat 5600. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later.